Hello there all, we all know how the X-Spirit 3 compares to the RX 7V, but how does Shoei itself stack up against Arai, or even AGV for that matter? Since we first started recording our road test, we've been collecting data on helmets from Shoei, Arai, AGV, HJC, Shark, Schubert, and the Nolan Group, including x -Lite and Nolan. While we've used this data to look at how their individual helmets did, we were curious about what results we'd get if we looked at all their respective helmets put together to see what each company offers as a brand. We've used our usual road test setup, but also added the average of these helmets' sharp scores to get an idea of their safety. But first, the burning question, what about Shoei versus Arai? But before we answer the eternal question, don't forget to check out our individual helmet road tests and reviews since their individual performance can differ to what we'll discuss here. First, let's start with Shoei. Other than Shark or AGV, this is the brand that we've tested out the most. Shoei is definitely more at the premium end of the market, but this does show in their high quality liners, visor mounts, and just general high quality. Informing our numbers are the collective road tests of the Shoei Neotech 2, Shoei's modular helmet, the Shoei NXR, their touring helmet, the Shoei GTR 2 from their sport touring helmets, the Shoei x 3, their top of the line race helmet, and the Shoei Hornet ADV, their adventure helmet. Not to mention the Shoei J-Cruise 2, their ever popular jet helmet. Shoei helmets usually come in an intermediate oval head shape and are made of their advanced integrated matrix shell material. Considering the test result from all their helmets combined, Shoei does just as well as we expected it to. For material, with their use of their AIM shell, Shoei gets 4 stars. This also translates into a lighter weight, giving Shoei another 4 stars. Since most Shoei helmets also come equipped with pinlock insert lenses, that's also another 4 stars. For noise, Shoei does very well in no small part thanks to the Shoei GTR2, so that's 3 stars. Ventilation from Shoei is also solid given its 5 star rank. Lastly, as we mentioned, Shoei gets 4.5 stars for its great comfort. Overall, Shoei does very well, getting a total of 4 stars and coming at a very wallet-friendly Euro per star rating of 22. Based on these helmets' sharp ratings, Shoei is also very safe with 4 stars on average. Now we come to our Arai results. Arai is our second major Japanese helmet manufacturer, also known for their safety and quality as well as adding certain special features that other companies just don't have. For example, their visor vents and their round shell shape. Their helmets are generally made of their own super, vi super fiber via complex laminate construction, and this means they usually come in as among the most expensive helmets in most helmet categories. Arai is also known for providing a wide range of head fits from intermediate oval to long oval. For our road tests, we tested out the Arai Tour X4, their Adventure Helmet, the Arai Profile V, their Touring Helmet, the Arai Renegade V, their Cruising Helmet, the Arai SCR Vest, Arai's Jet Helmet, and the Arai RX-7V, their top racing helmet. Arai definitely does give Shoei a run for their money, but let's see by how much. For material, the Arai comes in with 4 stars and, thanks to their special fiber, just manages to come in at 4 stars for weight. We've also got the same 4 star result for their visors. However, for noise, Arai haven't done quite as well, getting 2 stars. Nonetheless, for ventilation and comfort, Arai have come back again with 4 stars each for their high quality liners. This just about brings Arai to a total of 4 stars, though it does lag a bit behind Shoei in their performance, and these stars will also come in at about 26 euros per star, which is fairly expensive. Nonetheless, these are safe helmets, getting a total average of 4 stars for available helmets, and almost all of Arai's helmets in the US are Snell certified. While we were comparing these two giants, we also decided to throw in a few others, including AGV. AGV is a very strong competitor in this case, with helmets spanning across almost every category and price point. Not to mention being the producers of the famous Pista GPRR that Valentino Rossi himself wears. Though their helmet fit tends towards being narrower, they also use more carbon fiber materials in their helmets, so they'll be much lighter. We've tested out the AGV Pista GPRR, the AGV Pista GPR, the AGV K1, the AGV K3 SV, AGV's more budget helmets, the AGV Sport Modular, the AGV K6, AGV Sport Touring Helmet, the AGV X3000, and the AGV Corsa R. Overall, AGV do just as well as their competitors. For materials, AGV gets 4 stars with their use of multiple shell sizes, and this also leads to 4.5 stars for weight. 
The Visors from AGB also get a collective 4 stars. For Noise as well, AGB do well getting another 3 stars. Lastly, for Ventilation and Comfort, AGB get another 4 stars. This brings their total to 4 stars at 26 euros per star, which is the same as Arai. However, their safety does well with 4.5 stars overall. Next, we come to Shark, the French helmet manufacturer. Generally, their helmets tend to an intermediate oval fit and are well known thanks to the Shark Evo 1 2. So, the helmets we've tested for Shark are the Shark Evo 1 2, the Shark Spartan Carbon, the Shark Race R Pro GP, the Shark Spartan GT Carbon, Shark Squall 2, and the Shark Spartan GT. Shark does well but doesn't quite reach our top 3 so far. For material, Shark gets 3 stars due to their frequently small number of shell sizes. However, for the weight and the visor, Shark do well getting 4 stars. For noise, Shark gets 2 stars unfortunately for poor noise isolation. However, for ventilation, Shark gets 3 stars and for comfort, another 4. This brings Shark to an overall total of 3 stars at 22 euros per star, so on par with Shoei. But Shark do still make safe helmets with 4 of 5 stars on average. We've also included Schubert here for comparison's sake. Though we haven't tested as many of their helmets as Shoei or AGV, Schubert, a German company, excel at trying to give you everything in your helmet out of the box, as well as modular helmets like the Schubert C4 Pro. Their helmets usually come in an intermediate oval head shape, or it'll range to a round head fit. For our road test, we tested out the Schubert C4 Pro, the Schubert C4 Pro Carbon, and the Schubert M1 Pro, Schubert's jet helmet. Schubert unsurprisingly do well, though this is skewed by the small sample size. So we'll keep it short and just say Schubert gets 4 stars for material, weight, visor, noise, and ventilation. However, Schubert did very well for comfort, getting 5 stars. This gives Schubert a total of 4 stars at 26 euros per star, though this is slightly let down by their 3 stars for safety. HJC always managed to surprise us on our road tests with their incredibly low prices and high quality and performance. Their helmets are made of their own premium integrated matrix and usually come in an intermediate oval head shape. For this test, we've used our data for the HJC R490, the HJC F70, HJC I90, HJC R70, HJC I70, and HJC R11. Overall, HJC definitely delivered their classic punching above their weight results. For material, HJC got 3 stars, which is very respectable. But then for weight and visor, HJC is able to knock it all the way up to 4 stars for each category. However, for noise, HJC does a little worse with 2.5 stars. For ventilation and comfort, HJC come back with 3.5 and, and 3 stars respectively. Overall, this brings HJC to a total of 3 stars and 18 years per star, which is the lowest here. For safety, HJC also do well with 3 stars. Last up from our brand comparison is Nolan Group, where we've combined our results for our Nolan and our x -Lite helmets. Both companies come in intermediate oval head shapes and they usually provide very strong middle range touring and racing helmets. So in this case, we've tested out the Nolan N87+, Plus, the Nolan N87, the Nolan N105+, Plus, the Nolan N105, the x -Lite X1004, and the X-Lite X803 RS Ultra Carbon. Nolan Group's performance is very good overall, given the number of markets they span. For material and weight, they get 3 stars, while for the visor, they get 4 since they so considerately provide you with a helmet's pinlock insert lens. However, for ventilation, they get 3 stars. For noise, Nolan Group also do well with another 3 stars, and the same goes for comfort. Overall, this gives us 3 stars at 22 euros per star, which also isn't bad. For safety as well, they do very well with 4 stars on average. This means we've gone through all of our brands and can now announce our winner. And it's, sorry Orion AGV fans, Shoei. They got 4 stars overall, but they also did as good or better than every other company in each category, not to mention having a great value for money of 22 euros per star. Next up is safe to say it's AGV with their great safety record as well as solid performance out on the road. Next up, we've got Arai, followed by HJC and Shark, and Nolan Group are more or less tied after that. We haven't graded Schubert here, due to the sample size being too small. If you'd like to purchase any of these helmets, make sure to head to championhelmets.com, where we have a lowest price guarantee, and for each of these helmets, we also have great bundle deals, including discounted visors and discounted communication systems. 
So now we have our answer for 2020, it's showy as the best. But that by no means means that every helmet they make is the best, since this is an average and what helmet you go for also depends on what you're looking for, which can just as easily be offered by AGV or HJC or any other company out there. If you liked the video, make sure to subscribe and let us know what you think down below. I'm Sebastian from Champion Helmets, and thanks for watching.